poor people live rich and they continue to be poor. Rich people live as if they are poor. They continue to be rich. You cannot be who you want to be and be likable by everybody all the time. The first thing we are going to be looking at is the law of growth. You understand what VUCA means? Volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. We live in times where there is no certainty any longer. And this is key. You talk to especially people who incorporate certain, and you realize that whilst you are doing your strategic planning, People go for retreats to do strategic planning. By the time they finish the strategic planning and they are coming back, the very issues they had gone to plan for had changed. So nothing is certain any longer. Everything has become so complex. So for many people, this idea of five-year plan and 10-year plan, they are even throwing it away because they just can't plan for. By the time you finish your first six months plan, something else has happened. So we are going to look at how does growth, personal growth, help us to build resilience in terms of complexity, in terms of ambiguity, in terms of uncertainty, and in terms of volatility. This is very, very important. Then we shall look at if indeed growth matters, then how do we set our personal leadership priorities to accelerate our growth in the year 2023 and beyond? Remember, quarter one has ended. Today we are starting quarter two. And it's amazing how the times are running so fast. So how do we build personal leadership? And it's important we are talking about leadership because anybody who has studied leadership will tell you, they say that everything rises and falls on leadership, which is key. So it's important that we look at how do we build or develop our own personal leadership skills to be able to help us to accelerate our growth. And then we shall look at if we have personal leadership, how does that help us to evolve the new us? Because we are talking about growth. We are talking about re-emergence. We are talking about redevelopment. Who you are today is not the end. You can still grow yourself. A new you can come out. These are the three key areas that I want us to look at within the short time that we are going to be in. So, but before we zoom into it, let's do a bit of review. I want to give you just about six minutes for you to review these two questions. Do what I call an introspective. That is going to help you to be able to unravel the next phase that you are going to embark on. What lesson or lessons did you learn in quarter one that has helped improve your life and is going to shape your life in quarter two? You can write it down and just do a reflection and then we can share a few things before we zoom into the day session. Then number two, the second question I want you to look at is what internal changes have you made that reflect the lessons learned from quarter one? Remember, if you keep doing the same thing the same way, you get the same results. So analytically, what are the lessons that you picked up from quarter one that as you enter into quarter two and beyond is going to help you to determine how you want quarter two and the rest of the quarters to be like? Because like I've said earlier on, for those of you who are in January, the difference between human beings and animals is that human beings can think, human beings can recreate, Human beings can review. Human beings can look at things from different perspectives. And if you keep going the same way, the same direction, without having to look at your real mirror to see whether indeed things are going the way you want to go, whether indeed things are the way you want to have them, there's going to be a challenge. So I want you to spend five minutes here, think about these questions, and then we can share a few of them before we move to the next level. Let me hear a little bit about what are the internal changes that you have made, not external, internal changes have you made that is going to reflect the lessons you've learned. Those are internal until you're able to align your internal belief system, what we call system. You can't come to that point. Many of us look for affirmation, what we call people applaud before we are able to take one step. So, if I do something and she doesn't smile, I think that she doesn't like me. And what that happens is that 
it affects our internal locus. Are you with me? You, you get a point? When you wake up, something internally must tell you, wake up from the bed. Don't sleep again. Even when you are crying, and one of these days I'm going to do something about how do we deal with crisis? Even when we're in crisis, and they say they are going to amputate your leg, even with that amputation, let that dream not die. What is that internal change that you have made? I want to hear a bit about that. Who will want to shoot first? Let's, let's understand this. There's a difference between knowledge and values. You can be the most enlightened professor on a particular subject matter, but you'll be weak because your value system, your internal changes, the thing that drives to make you who you are is weak. Now, another word is what we call selective refined. Selective refined. You have now become more focused on your long-term agenda. Who you really want to be. And guys, you cannot be who you want to be and be likable by everybody all the time. That is why in our context, when I say our context, if you want to stand by your values, it's a choice you have made, but you must also select to pay the right price. You get a point? You cannot say, I want to be this. I don't want to manipulate figures. I'm using you as an example. And you have 10 companies and all 10 companies want to manipulate. That means you must be prepared to selectively say, I want to be alone. At least, even if it means I have to drink water and sleep, I will. It's called selective refined. Otherwise, you can't. Unfortunately, in our context, in our part of the world, if you don't have that courage, you can't. Poor people live rich and they continue to be poor. Rich people live as if they are poor. And they continue to be rich. In other words, stop living to please other people. You know, when I came to Uganda, and this is African thing, but when I came to Uganda, I saw that this thing was extraordinarily real here. I was going home and there was a traffic. There was a, a very brand new C-class. I told the guy, it's a fool. He said, ah, boss, how do you know it's fool? I said, it's fool. We are there when the guy, motor guy, this brother, brother guy brought one gallon. He put the thing, <laughs> he said, how do you know? I said, because people live to please other people. <laughs> and if you do that, sir, you will never achieve your dream. I'll be honest. You will never achieve your dream. In any case, why are you living to please other people? How many of you have dressed, you stand in front of the mirror, you say, ah, this thing, then you take it off, you put on another dress again. Okay, how many have done that before? Okay. Because you think when you are, where you are going, people will think you are out. But they don't care. If some even don't know the color of the dress you are wearing, most you are talking to them. They may, they may, oh, I like your hair. But he's saying it, but the brain is not there. So why? So I like that. If you come to that realization and you become selectively refined and say, this is me and I'm endorsing me. I'm voting for me. Eventually, people will come and applaud for who you are. And that's something that we all have to do. The new you. How do I evolve the new you? If you don't focus on the new you, you will keep doing the things that have kept you where you are. And humanistically speaking, we have the tendency to repeat the things that are comfortable. We are going to look at it. We have the tendency to keep repeating the things that, that make us comfortable. And without questioning the effect of that thing on the new you that we want to develop. If you don't focus on this here, that new you can never come out. Let's not joke around this thing here. Whether you like it or not, the times we live in today are not what we met 20 years ago. 
Now, if you make a mistake to assume that these are, are just transient times, and that oh, we, we shall go back to the normal times, you are just making a big mistake. The Chinese have a proverb. They said, if you keep doing the same thing, the same way, and expect a different result, what it means is that you have lost your mind. It's called insanity.